Welcome to the cell signaling tutorial. In this tutorial we learn the basics of cell signaling. We have four different cell signaling molecules at our disposal. We call these S1, S2, S3 and S4. The behavior of some cells are affected by the concentrations of these within the cell. In cell lab we refer to the affected behaviors as programmable. Some types of cells produce these signaling molecules. One of them is the neurocyte. Let M1 be a neurocyte and let it split into a basic. Nice work! The swim force of the flagellocytes is a programmable property. Next to the swim force slider there is now a button with an ellipsis on it. Set dependence. Here you can set the swim force to depend on the cell state instead of being a fixed value. In particular, set the input to be signal substance S1. There are two types of dependences on the input, a linear function and a step function. Choose the first equation which is the linear dependence. This only depends on the parameters R and B. Set A equals 4 and B equals 0. Now the swim force will be high when the S1 concentration is high, and low when the S1 concentration is low. Produce some S1. You should see your initial neurocyte split into a swimmer, but it shouldn't swim at all. This is because the S1 concentration is zero. We want our M1 neurocyte to produce some S1. Neurocytes have four different pathways for Producing signal substances. Each can be set to produce any of the four signal substances. Go to the mode M1 settings and look at the end. You will see a list of output settings. These settings are, just like the swim force, also programmable. For now we use a fixed value. Set the first channel to S1 and increase the first output amount to max. Now again place the M1 neurocyte on your substrate. Use preset. Cool. Your swimmer should now have been swimming for a short while and then stopped. The reason it stops is because the signal molecules left over from the initial neurocyte decay. This means the concentration quickly goes to zero if they aren't continuously being produced. Let us change the head of the swimmer, M3, to a neurocyte. Then go to the output settings of M3 and press the oscillator preset button. Oscillating Neurocyte. 
This preset will set the four output pathways in a clever way such that the concentrations of two signal substances will start to oscillate. Indicate one neurocyte adhesion connection since your neurocyte has one connection and set channels to S1 and S2 and set the period to one hour. Now put an M1 neurocyte onto the substrate again and see how the swimmer behaves. Tutorial finished. You should now see your cell swim and stop, swim and stop, and so on until it dies. Pretty neat. The signal molecules from the neurocyte diffuse through the adhesin connection to the flagellocyte. This happens for all cells except for lipocyte. Lipocytes can therefore be used similarly to how glial cells function in animals. You have now finished the tutorial and are ready for some neuroscience.